Hi, and welcome to a video about the niche concept. Um, a niche in French means nest, and that's actually really what it is. It's your happy place. It's who you interact with, what you eat, your, the space that you need to survive. In this example, you see different birds, and the bars down here, the colored bars, represent their niche. So there's a lot of overlap between some species and very little overlap with others. But for the most part, you can never really have an, the exact same identical niche um, for two uh, species. So here's an interesting example of what happens if that does occur. So you have a lion over here on the right, and you can tell this is a lion that has uh, retractable claws. You can't, it's like all cats, they have claws that retract, but there's an exception to the rule. And if anybody knows what this cat is, I think I heard someone say it. Correct, you are right. This is a cheetah. Um, these are uh, claws that are out all the time, non-retractable claws. That's actually really the key that makes the cheetah so fast. It's like a sprinter in the Olympics. They use spikes in their shoes, right? They also have a long tail. Cheetahs also have a black line under their eyes and in the sports like American football and baseball, um, very fast, you have to have very fast reactions. That black stripe helps absorb the sunlight as it's coming down and not allow it to reflect into your eyes. That could distract you at the wrong moment. Same as a cheetah, it hunts in the daytime and that's really essential when we're looking at uh, these two animals when we're talking about their niche concept. A daytime hunter with all these evolutionary traits that enable it to survive and hunt in the daytime versus a nighttime hunter over here that uses strength and stealth. How does that apply to the niche concept? Well, um, according to the niche concept, and it's, it's not perfect in any way, but uh, the concept goes that you, you won't have overlap. We have this thing called competitive exclusion will take place if there's overlap. One will outcompete the other. One will have to leave, maybe because it's being outcompeted, or in the case of the cheetah, it will evolve. Well, the cheetah, most cats are nocturnal. They will hunt at night. The cheetah was pushed. It was outcompeted by this lion, which was quite exclusive uh, in its, its, its size and dominance. So it was outcompeted. So the cheetahs slowly moved to hunting in the daytime and those with adaptations that allowed them to hunt better in the daytime pass those traits on to their offspring. Maybe one had some claws that were slightly longer. Suddenly it could sprint faster. That became a benefit. Um, so we see evolution taking place here with these cheetahs. One last thing about the niche concept that we, uh, that we talk about is the idea of what you can in real terms use and what you actually do use. So fundamentally, a human can exist anywhere on this planet. We can exist on, in the North Pole to the South Pole and Equator. The reality is our bodies tend to do better um, at temperatures where we can survive. We tend to live more uh, along the coastlines of this planet than up at high altitudes, for example. So same thing with fish and cheetahs and barnacles. Um, these fish would love to live, this fish could live everywhere if there was no competition. But there is competition, so it realized that it does best in this one space. Um, and then it, you allow others to live over there, you don't have to compete. So fundamentally, you can take up all the space. In reality, what space do you take up? That's the difference between a fundamental niche and a realized niche. There's an example with barnacles here. These little barnacles would love to live down here and filter feed all day in water all day long at the low tide range. The reality is they're smaller, they're being outcompeted, so they have to find the space, a realized niche, uh, and move up into that space and just feed when the high tide comes. Not ideal, but you survive. So I hope that helps you understand uh, the niche concept, what it means and how we can sort of apply it uh, in the real world and real examples. So I hope that helped. Thanks. Bye-bye.